for it started and where my kind of experience in this field began you know where the the journey into YouTube began I mean long before vlogs or podcasts or any of this channel ever existed I mean I was at uni and it was journalism that I was studying journalism and media so within that um, you needed the lecturers always said you needed something like, like a job of some kind within the journalism industry you know either on a radio show newspaper blog anything like that that involves writing of some kind but my passion for journalism was through radio and that was my dream before even going to uni you know I was there with a the careers officer whatever you call them the person that tells you what you can and can't do but well not in that terms but they they kind of advise you on what's best for you based on your grades and stuff. And I was like, oh, I wanna, I wanna be a radio DJ. I wanna present on the radio. They're like, well, they don't do that at uni, you know? Obviously journalism is the way into that. And I came to find that out later on. So I chose journalism and media. Of course, writing wasn't my strong point. I was not good at literally any English class I was in, I was not good. Or, or at maths for that matter, so. I, I was never gonna be anything to do with maths either. So it was journalism and I, I doubted myself, I didn't think I could write anything, but I did, I wrote a lot of essays and stuff based around news, it was mainly news we were doing, you know, like news bulletins and stuff, a um, bit of TV, a bit of camera work, cameras like this, probably better than this camera to be honest, but yeah, like, it, the connection to podcasting came when in my second year I started a radio show, because I needed something to practice doing what I was going to do as a job in the future. I thought, what's the point studying all this if I haven't got any practice and experience? So I joined the uni student, Students' Union um, radio show, SU, MSU. I don't know. They have weird names for these student unions. It was the Middlesex Uni SU, Student Union. That was it. And they had the radio show that they played within, on campus and on the uni website. And I had I planned to do a show on there. I called it the Rock and Roll Football Show because all I talked about was football, you know, German league, Premier League, Liga, Liga, uh, Syria. So it was all about football and music, rock and music in that case. I think my first song I played was like "Gold on the Ceiling" by Black Keys, quality song that is. But yeah, so it was it was my way in really. I I saw it as a way in. And I, I believed I could do it, like, well, I started to believe when I was writing the script week by week, I'd watch all the football over the weekend, then study it and get all the fixtures, all the results down, and who scored, and I'd, I'd struggle to pronounce half the names the next day on the radio, and it was, it was like a proper radio studio as well, and yeah, so I'd write it all down, it was a script kind of. I knew, I knew my lines, I had lines, like my little catchphrase, can't remember that now, that was so long ago. So I, I'd present that every week. Of course it was just a radio show, so nothing like a podcast with a camera in front of you. It was, it, it was fun while it lasted. And then, yeah, finished uni and that was that, was that. and uh, YouTube wasn't till maybe two years later, when I just thought, you know, I stopped. Everyone's on YouTube at some point, like watching videos. You go down that, you know, the YouTube sinkhole, if you like. We just watch video after video, and then kept seeing all these vlogs. Came to know all the vloggers that I know and love today that I've mentioned in the past. I'll talk about them later. But anyway, so I came to know all these this vlog this vlogging style of of YouTube, and I I knew that I you know with my journalism knowledge. Camera, camera work that I'd done, even my radio show, I knew that I could I could do it in front of a camera. Um, the difficult part was the editing, the technology that came with that. I, I'd never done that before, so I taught myself, and lo and behold, here we are. However many, well, how many months, almost a year later, 
and now I'm podcasting, so it comes full circle, really. And I had no script for what I just told you, literally. I just thought of that as I've been looking at this question, why I started a podcast. That's really the, the story behind it. And, yeah. I don't know. Rags to riches, no. <laughs> Not quite, I'm still poor. <laughs> oh, dear. And now, yeah, today we have more light. So, hopefully this video comes out a bit brighter. But, yeah, so that's why, probably why. But, yeah, like I said, or I haven't said, or I did say yesterday, but the camera broke, so, yeah. Like I would have said yesterday, um, there's a lot of YouTubers that I've seen that do the same thing. So, you know, I mean, I'm thinking, why not do it if they do? A lot of podcasters started as, as vloggers, you know, they have their own vlog, as well as a podcast. There's so many. But I'll get onto that in a bit, I'm just going to explain the same story in Italian. Because that's what we do here. I'm the only podcast to speak two languages. All right, one, two, three, changing language. <laughs> Ragazzi, adesso stavo spiegando la storia di come ho cominciato su YouTube. Cominciato un paio di anni fa, quando ho cominciato l'università. E volevo un modo di allenare, cioè, di fare il mio lavoro di radio DJ. Volevo fare sempre questo sulla radio. Um, perché amo la musica, quindi ovviamente volevo fare questo e all'università ho studiato giornalismo, quindi impari, impari tutto da tv, radio, i giornali, tutto a scrivere, come essere quando hai una camera in faccia come ho adesso, quindi da là ho imparato tanto, poi ho fatto un, un show sulla radio alla università. Ogni settimana parlavo di calcio, eh, met mettevo la musica, per un'ora facevo questo, questo show, ogni settimana, come un radio DJ. Um, e lo, cioè, la confidenza all'inizio non l'avevo proprio. Poi in iniziavo a scrivere tutto giù e sapere che devo dire, parlando di calcio in quello caso. Quindi avevo un qualcosa di, di dire, cioè, non era su di me, era sul calcio, altre cose, quindi era più facile in quel senso. Pa e poi ho visto YouTube che tutti facevano i vlog, quindi da là ho pensato anche io posso fare questo, perché io so come fare, perché io ho studiato giornalismo, è uguale, no? Quindi ho cominciato il vlog e eccoli, ecco, sono io su YouTube. E poi è nato Luisi21, eccomi qui. E poi questo podcast, um, no, um, facciamo questo radio show, e di là ho imparato un po' come, come fare YouTube, come essere con voi, i miei fans. Allora, visto che siamo qui, metti un like, metti un commento se ti piace. Grazie a tutti. Andiamo avanti con questo podcast. Ciao. Ciao belli. Oh yeah. Take it easy fam, peace. I'll sit and watch your car burn With the fire that just started in me But you never came back I don't know